Hello there! This is a video explaining and talking about our math quick quiz. Um, so our math quick quiz is for 5.5. Um, .5. um uh, I'm going to go to our preview here just so we can see the answers a little bit better. Okay, so for the first question it says, what is the difference between area and perimeter? Explain your thinking using the following sentence starters. So down below in this box, you're going to write area is, and I want you to explain to me your best words, like what is area? Um, you can explain like how do you figure out area? Um, if you look at a shape like a rectangle, which part of the rectangle is the area? Then after you do the area, then you can do the perimeter. What is perimeter? Same thing, you can explain like how do you figure out perimeter? Uh, do you use multiplication? Do you use addition? How do you figure it out? And then if you look at a shape, like a rectangle again, which part of the rectangle would be the perimeter? Like how would you figure out the perimeter of a rectangle? So just as best as you can to explain that part. Then number two, decompose this figure into rectangles. Then find the area of the figure. So again, this is where you um, you can kind of imagine and kind of figure out like where those lines would be and then just figure out where it, what's the area for this. And just remember like how to kind of figure out area. And I'm just going to go to the screen here just to kind of review area. I'm going to be giving it away a little bit. Um, but if I was going to draw a shape like this, I'm just going to draw a bunch of lines really quick. I know it's not even at all. So please don't judge me for that. Just want to go quick for you. Um, you know, one way to be able to figure out um, area is you could you could split this into two parts like this so you would have like one kind of larger part here but a smaller part down here and so i have a one two three four five is my length my width is three and so i just have to figure out well five times three equals 15. um and then i can do the bottom part here the length is two and the width is two and two times four, or two, two times two is, just gave away the answer, four. And then I just have to put it together, 19. Or I could just count it all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I can use that kind of thinking to help me with that question. Number three, this question is very similar from, from yesterday. Maria has 34 tiles with dimensions that are one foot by one foot. And really what that means is that, like she, like she has a bunch of tiles, and one foot by one foot is just like this. So it's one foot long and one foot wide. And she has 34 of those. She wants to tile a hallway that is nine feet long and four feet wide. Does she have enough tiles to do that? And so if you want to go on to like explain everything or notability to draw it out. So like her hallway is her hallway. You know, it's nine feet long, four feet wide. How, what is that area? And does she have an, does she have enough tiles to cover that up? And you'd use those sentence starters here. If you think she does, you would say, yes, she has enough because why? And you can like even just give me the answers. Yes, she has enough because um, she ha because the area is 50. The area is not really 50, but that's just an example. Yes, she has enough because the area is 50. And she, so I just want you to think about that um, and give the best answers you can as you're trying to write it out. I know it's a little bit different when you're trying to write out answers. Um, but the answers I was seeing yesterday were fantastic. So yeah, just do your best with it. And I can't wait to see. Have fun.